G'day folks, this is James from Talking Stones. Firstly, let me apologise for my unshaven appearance in this video. I've actually cheekily snuck into work on a Saturday morning to get some bits and pieces done when there's fewer people around. There is something I wanted to share with you. Um, I'm recording this on Saturday morning, the 18th of April, 2020, in the midst of this crazy coronavirus crisis and the subsequent economic in, uh, downturn that's impacting so many people across our country. First and foremost, I hope you are well under these trying conditions. I hope your family are well. I hope you're doing everything you can to remain and stay safe. But these trying times and these trying conditions mean some things, unfortunately, are just gonna be different. Um, the one thing that's going to be impacting our family is Anzac Day. My capacity as an uh, ambassador for the Australian War Animal Memorial Organisation would see us at the dawn commemoration services on Anzac Day, but like all Anzac Day commemoration services around the country, they've all been cancelled. A couple of days ago, a customer contacted us and asked us to create for them a Anzac Day inspired eternal candle for what they called their driveway at dawn service. Now we hadn't heard of this driveway at dawn service and they quickly enlightened us that there's been quite a, a movement around this. You may have seen something on the television about it. And they referred us to a Facebook group called Aussies and Kiwis um, for Anzacs and um, it was um, co-founded by a gentleman by the name of Justin Wilbur um, and it's a Facebook group that's getting a lot of momentum and they're building a grassroots um, a campaign for everyday Aussies to continue to um, commemorate Anzac Day, not in a traditional sense at a cenotaph or a congregation somewhere uh, like that, but at the end of your driveway at dawn, just before dawn, with your family and, and, and lighting a candle. And we were we, were, we thought this was a great idea and we, we couldn't get involved fast enough. So we reached out um, to the people at um, Aussies and Kiwis for uh, Anzacs and the Driveway at Dawn movement. And we found out, we're very pleased to find out that they work and support a charity um, called uh, Soldier On. And the Soldier On charity do really good work working directly with veterans. They have a lot of value to veterans. So we're very pleased and we were very pleased to offer and ask how we could get involved or how we might be able to support them. We do a lot of fundraising activity for a lot of uh, different charities and the like and we wanted to know how we could help in this instance because we just like the idea so much. So um, this family that we created the uh, Eternal Candle for, um, we've agreed that we will um, produce and, and, and make those available to others that may be wanting a candle. Now you don't need our candle necessarily, any candle will do, but if you do want to support a charity, uh, we've created something here uh, for you. Um, if, if you're interested, it is carved from natural Australian sandstone, has a beautiful silhouette of a slouch hat um, soldier with head bowed and of course the year 2020. We're calling it limited edition, there's only so many days left until Anzac Day. So what we're also doing is uh, we're um, shipping these free of charge express post. We've reduced the price, we're shipping them express post um, to get them to you as quickly as possible and we're donating $20 to the soldier on charity. Um, so you can go to our website talkingstones.com.au under giftware and you'll see that item. But look, I would encourage you and urge you to go to the Facebook page, uh, which is Aussie uh, and Kiwis for Anzac Day. And uh, if you're like us and you want to be involved in honouring um, Anzac Day in some way, you can do it by coming to the end of your driveway at dawn. Um, the national radio networks will be broadcasting services over their network so you can tune in on your phone. Um, not quite the same as being at a commemoration service, but it's in its own way it's still paying respect to our, our brave diggers and Anzacs and you might say I haven't got a driveway James what am I going to do that's fine if you've got a balcony go to a balcony so it'd be lovely to see footage that night on the news of all these people coming out on balconies and lighting candles at the end of driveway so hopefully I might see you in our street or at the end of your street with a candle for Anzac Day and paying respects to our brave Anzacs and upholding the Anzac spirit lest we forget